uh, today, ipapakita ko sa inyo itong bago kong collection. No? Nire-transfer ko yung uh, ponytail palm tree ko no? dito sa pot using an old Japanese garden technique no? na tinawag na Saiki. No? Saiki is literally translated to as planted landscape. It is the art of creating tree landscape that combine the miniature living trees with soil, rocks, water, and other related vegetations like earth, a moss, and everything. You know, and put it into a single tray or a, on a similar container. Saiki is a descendant of the Japanese, art, Japanese arts of bonsai. And it is closely related also to uh, the Chinese miniature landscape art called Pinji. And um, this one, Itong bato na to, nakikita ko lang to sa likod ng bahay and I decided to dig a hole in it to make beauty in it. My inspiration of doing this is yung, as you can see in my previous vlog or previous videos, when we went out with my kids, uh, when we went exploring the megalithic tomb in Cavan Town actually, so nakikita namin dun and I saw the great, great, big boulders of rocks, you know, the ancient tomb. I was inspired by it, so kaya I tried to, and I remember this art, the psyche, that gives me an idea of, of making this one. So this is now my finished product, you know? just turn it around so you can see. But if you are new to my, if you are new to this video, uh, please check on my channel, Dinch's uh, Green Living, and uh, click the subscription below, or like, or share it to your friends for more videos and inspiration. Okay, today, ang ipapakita ko sa inyo yung pagripat ko ng itong tanim na to. Matagal na to sa akin. Mga, it's been with me uh, for about three or four years already. No? So, kaya malaki na siya. Naka, di pa dito sa maliking paso, no? o sa maliit na paso. But today, I'm gonna repot it in the big uh, pot at the same time or applying the technique of Psyche art. You know, it's Another form of Japanese art na pang dekora dekorasyon no? sa, sa loob ng bahay. So itong tanim na to, it's called uh, ponytail palm. No? It's a species of a bottle plant but it's also known as uh, bottle palm or uh, elephant uh, foot. Scientific name nito, Bucarnia recorbata. So now, this is a popular house plant. No? Uh, with a bulbous stem and cascade of leaves like this one no? and uh, that resemble a ponytail kaya tinawag siyang ponytail palm now ponytail palm isn't actually a palm tree but a succulent member of the agave uh, family then this 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 plant or this plant uh, are easy to grow and forgiving so madali siyang alagaan no saka hindi na kailangan ano and they thrive in a bright indirect light or in a drier soil so kaya madali itong alagaan at madaling ipropagate saka maganda so ngayon we will give justice to this plant ililipat natin siya but again sa magandang lalagyan at saka permanent niyang lalagyan it's a beautiful and we will transform this into another beautiful um, centerpiece no? sa loob ng bahay okay anong kakailangan na natin una obviously kailangan natin ng pot na lilipatan ito Sabi ko yan, sobrahan, laki ng pot na to. At saka ang liliit ng, ng, ng tanim, ng plant. Anyway, mayroon tayong, as what I've said, i-apply natin yung art ng Psyche. Tapos, another, of grizzly plant. And then, kailangan natin ng maraming bato. No? Mga rocks. Kasi gawin natin itong uh, rock formation, mountain rock formation. Okay? Then, obviously, Soil, walang kamatayang soil. Again. And, so baka, by the way, baka madistract kayo dun sa background ko, napaka pink. It's a late bloom pala yan, ng iris gladula or iris gladula. Pero, ang ganda, pink. So, okay. And obviously, isa pa sa mga kailangan natin itong bato. So, ito nakita ko to sa, like, sa backyard namin. No? Kita ko sa backyard namin. Sabi na, iisip ko, bunga ng malikot kong imahinasyon, my wild imagination. I said, why don't I dig a ano, hole in this one? At saka I will transform that ito yung ipapat natin. So this is what we are going to do now. Una, anong gagawin natin? So obviously, 
transfer natin yung soil dito sa pot no? kailangan natin ng maraming soil so, una, lagyan natin siya ng itong dalawang butas nito lagyan natin ng cover no? so instead of screen I will use this one okay so then it's just an ordinary compost na produce ko sa backyard, backyard ko ng ginawa kong compost no? then kulang to eh of soil. Hmm. Throw this in up garden soil. Now, ito medyo mahirap. <laughs> mahirap gawin to. Pero, as what I've said, if you have passion, you need to have patience. Kagaya ng ginawa kong ito, mga, ito ang bato na to. It took me 45 minutes sa pagbutas nito. Kasi nga, napakahirap. Napakatigas na sulit siya eh. Kaya nawala na ako ng pasensya, pinilit ko. Ang nangyari, nabasag tuloy. But anyway, thank you for the mighty bond. The balik siya. Now, what's the next step? Gawin natin itong convert this into a beautiful masterpiece. So, lagyan natin siya dyan. No? Tingnan natin, maganda ba? Lagyan natin ng konting soil. Para medyo mag-protrude siya. Mag-protrude. No? Kailangan siya naka-protrude. Eh. Para lalabas yung beauty ng bato. No? And then, so, paano ba? Yan, siguro. Ganda. So, nakikita nyo mga kapwa ko, plant lover. Ang ganda na niya, no? Ng, yung effect niya ng bato. So, ang gawin natin, tatanggalin natin itong root ng plant na ito. So, napakalaki na ng roots niya, no? Diba? So, maybe we will cut some of this kasi hindi na nakikilain ng anin eh. Dahan-dahan. Patulan natin. Eh, marami pa naman to sa loob ng ano eh. Marami pa to sa inside the marami pa itong uh, roots. Dahan, tingnan mo. Parang, ano na lang siya lahat eh. Di ba? Dahan-dahanin natin siya ha. Paanoin natin yung, kasi nga, kaya, hindi na siya medyo nag, ano kasi, yung, uh, yung roots niya, masyado nang naka, kasi anyways. ditanggal lang natin na yung roots kasi umikot na siya eh kasi nga ilalim na umikot na yung umikot na yung mga ugat niya no oops nandan okay yan so anong gawin natin dito so gently slowly but surely ipapasok mo yung roots niya dito sa butas no yan para para ang lalabas lang diyan yun yung bulb niya yung crown niya di ba napakaganda ng it's so beautiful it's a, ano ang ganda ng tingnan di ba kung makikita niya yung ano so, kaya okay we'll do this gently surely okay dahan-dahan dahan-dahan okay so okay oh uh, muna basahin natin to nang konti okay para so ngayon na, nakikita na so it's time to plant this one no? lagyan natin yung roots nya ito na magandang posisyon ng bato o dyan ganyan okay. dyan first part so diba so, slowly nakikita nyo na yung ano nya ang ganda ng bato diba ang ganda na pagka so Napakaganda, no? A little bit, maybe. Okay. There you go. Well, hindi pa tayo nagtatapos dyan, di ba? So, yan. So, we have to keep an eye with this one. Yeah. So, napakaganda. Parang pinatong lang siya dun sa bato, di ba? Ang gandang tingnan, no? So, hindi pa tayo nagtatapos dyan. Kailangan siya ng... Kailangan natin dagdagan more so well. Dahil ito pa yung napaka-tricky. Ito isa sa napaka-importante ng gawin natin psyche, no? We'll add more soil here. No, ito yung pinaka-tricky part. Kasi nga, ilalagay na natin yung Okay, I'll turn this on, no? So, 
Nilagay na natin yung plan. Kung pwede, kung sana pwede na eh. Pwede na yan, napakaganda ng tingnan, di ba? We'll just uh, put some moss in here. Green na siya, at saka yun, may beauty na siya. But uh, I'm not happy with it. Patay ng, ano, so, yan. Pwede na nga sana eh, kung talagang tamad, pero bunga ng makulikot pong imahinasyon. Saka yung psyche nga, it's a landscaping. We will create a rocky mountain. No. So, nang gawin natin, gawa tayo ng ilagay natin itong mga bato. Ito. Uh, papano? Siguro, we will water this. Basahin natin ito para madaling dumikit, didikit yung at saka magaling mag-hold yung but yung soil. Ma-hold na yung bato. No? Ito. Diligan natin ito. Bear with me, mga Okay, so now, ano bang design ng kailangan natin? Yung hindi siya, okay na. Put the rocks. Okay. okay. Dapat nasa ilalim eh, pero I don't want to put it, stick it na sa ano, para yung beauty niya. Ito medyo mabigat ito kasi the rocks alone is napakahirap. No? Mabigat na yung rocks. Okay, isa pa. Siguro, tatlo lang pwede na. triangular shape okay, itong ma ito, may nakita akong maliit so, lagayin natin dito okay itong maliit no? paano bang maganda Yan. Siguro ganyan, no? So, yan. Very tricky. Yan. Yan. Shortcut tayo para hindi ma-shakin ma yung ano. Gawin natin to. The power of super glue. Okay? Igu-glue natin yung rack, yung mga nagdikit-dikit na part. Igu-glue natin para maging stable siya. Okay? So, maging stable siya. So, now, ito magic glue. Kalimutan ko ito yung mention kanina. No? Sa, isa sa mga kakailanganin. No? Kailangan, I'll advise na mag-gloves, no? Using this, pero okay, dahan-dahan lang tayo. Now, higiglue natin siya. Kunti lang, pang dikit lang, no? Not that much. But be gentle, kasi maano to eh. Ma- Dali lang naman ito mag-dry. Para lang na yung friction at saka yung ano ng gloves niya. Okay? Just bear with me. Okay. Diyan na. So, we'll just give you a few minutes for the, ano, ano, to glue, to... Lang, ganun lang ka, simple mga kapatid. No. Now, we have... Glue natin. We have the plant and we have the rocks now. So, lagyan na lang ng konti, ano. Beauty, kumbaga makeup. <laughs> it's time to put the moss. Yeah. Take your time. So, you know, kailangan mo rin kasing patakbuhin if you are into like planting. So, kailangan minsan paikutin natin yung ating imahinasyon para naman magandang tingnan yung tanim. At saka, the beauty of it, kung if you use your own imagination ng mga decorative is, sarili mo, wala kang, walang katulad yung mga decoration mo sa bahay, no? Kasi, gawa, sariling ano mo yun, eh, gawa mo yun, eh. So, walang katulad. So, syempre, it will, you know, makikita mo yung sarili mong art, at saka yung gawa mo. Now, kailangan natin dito, lagyan natin siya ng kunting soil. Okay? Itong mixture ng soil na ginawa ko. Okay? May dagdagan natin siya para lalabas na yung yeah. again huwag matakot magka putik yung kamay yung putik pwedeng yung putik pwede mong hugasa pero yung beauty ng gawa mo ng art mo to stay forever so, naka, naka display yan diba? so, okay, huwag matakot Mag, madumi yung kamay 
dito dito sa gilid na rin masyado kasi parang ano, naka-protrol pa rin dapat ito ang ano dito naka-protrol dito ang bato eh itong, itong, sa, itong part na to huwag mong itagang sa well dapat naka-protrol yan para kasi pag naka-protrol ano yan makikita yung beauty ng ano bato hindi siya dapat yung bato is lilitaw yung bato no? use our magic you know? ganda ng glue kasi nga few, few seconds lang ano na kagad dry na kagad hindi dito na tayo sa pinaka ano paste na sabi ko sa iyo so I've said earlier moss kailangan natin bakit kailangan natin ng maraming moss dahil nga malaki yung pot natin malaki yung area na lagyan natin ng moss and also gagamit tayo ng maybe twister kaya yeah, marami tayo nito kasi nga yung mga area na medyo masikip no ganyan natin kaya nga kailangan mo ng maraming moss kasi you have to make sure that the whole area is covered no ng moss okay dahan dahan we'll oil this now oh, well, water this okay and that the area where we will put it okay and gently tama lang yung size niya and don't you worry kasi at first first na the first time you put the moss is ano yan hindi pa green yan kasi nga kalalagay mo lang okay kan you know, look at the difference pag ilagay mo na na ng moss di ba iba eh iba talaga yung dating niya pag may looks color no so, yung beauty yung green niya, ibang iba eh. Okay. So, I think this is the time that we will use the tweezer. This part look very delicate. The main part is done. The, the trust. We'll just turn this one. So it's easier for me to take this part. Okay. So how to water it, just sprinkle, spray, spray it over it. And then we'll just you know, make sure that when the moss is wet that doesn't mean it will it penetrates down to the bottom you know? but the in this in this case um, you mostly just water the top of the moss and then basically this plant but that's what I've said earlier that this plant um, it can thrive in a dry soil uh, drier area so, so maganda siya pang indoor talaga a little bit of sunshine pang indoor talaga Part here, a bit closer to me. Yeah. <coughs> this middle part now to add more beauty. So, I have a little like cuttings. I have a little cuttings of uh, of itong uh, jade plant. No, so 
tanim natin dito. So at least you have something na tingnan ka daar uh, every day kung mag-grow siya. Tong cuttings na to, dyan siya. And then as, as the ano grows, then susunod din yan. Skip. So kaya even doon sa loob, lagyan din siya natin ng news. Yeah. I think we're done. One beautiful water it. Okay. So, ah, uh, pagkita ko sa camera. So, maliit na jade plant na tayo dito. Pagkita, ano yan? Pagkita, every day, as you check this one, pagkita mo, lalaki yan. So, ganda na yan. So, now, I think we'll just water this one and then wipe it a bit. And then, we'll present this to you. So, kung taking care of this ano, plant, so kung mag-water ka, dyan lang, ha? spray mo lang. In a ways, yung roots na mag-ano doon. Kunti. Okay. Okay. So, pwede ko siyang ilagay doon sa dining table. Whatever you want it. Anyways, the final spray. Now, presenting to you my <coughs> ponytail palm tree using an old Japanese garden art called Saike. Until next time, mga kapwako plant lover, no? God bless and keep living green. Bye-bye.